I feel like this is one of those movies where no matter how I feel about it, I'm going to piss somebody off. But this is my honest opinion about this film. This movie was uncreative, boring, and had no character or relationship development. And I can honestly say that in some regards, I prefer Mirror Mirror. I feel like this movie was trying to be deep, dark, and have like some sort of feminist empowered overtones. But the script was so bad, and the way they wrote the characters were so bad that that didn't work at all. And this is most apparent with Snow White. Let me start off by saying that I don't exactly blame Kristen Stewart for Snow White's blandness. The character was not written to be an actual person, but to be a figurehead and archetype, to just really be a thing, not a character. What Kristen didn't do, however, was bring anything extra to the role. You know, Charlize, she hammed up the evil queen tenfold. Um, Chris Hemsworth, he did a really decent performance. You know, I felt like he was good as the Huntsman. I think the fact that he and Kristen have no chemistry whatsoever really hindered their interactions, but he was still kind of good. But Kristen just did Kristen. And while it didn't help anything, the writers wrote a horrible Snow White to begin with. That's especially apparent with that, with the speech that she gives in order to like make all the people rise up against the evil queen. That was horrible. I mean, Kristen Stewart, bless her soul. I think she's really pretty. But the girl cannot act outside of her own acting tics and playing characters like herself. So no matter what she does, she's always doing her. And she does not have charisma. She does not have stage presence. And because she doesn't have that, Snow White doesn't have that. And so when she's trying to have all these people, you know, raise up to fight the evil queen, it the speech is already written badly. But on top of Kristen not really doing or anything with her performance, it just becomes flat. Like, what the hell was that supposed to be? Um, and all these comparisons to Joan of Arc that people have been throwing at this movie and the way that Snow White was written is complete bullshit in my opinion. Like, I really think that's really silly because Joan of Arc had to struggle to get where she did. You know, she was born poor. She said that she had visions from God. She came from nothing and people didn't even believe her when she first started saying these things because no one would. They, they didn't, she was just a young girl, had no military experience, no political experience, didn't come from money. You know, people weren't just going to follow her instantaneously. She had to prove herself constantly. And in the end, she didn't even win. She didn't even, you know, have everyone back her up. Like, she got abandoned in the end, and she got burned at the stake. She's as much a tragic figure as a heroic one. But I feel like everyone just sees young girl leading army, and they just think, oh, Joan of Arc. But that's not the case here. I mean, Snow White has none of that. Beyond the, in, the, the, the story scan of her parents die and being trapped by the army of her queen, that's as far as her own um, struggles go. Everyone flocks to her without question because she's the chosen one. Like the entire cast of Princess Mononoke comes out from the forest to pay tribute to her greatness despite not doing a single thing to prove to anyone that she's worthy of this so-called destiny. I mean, Snow White at most in this movie shows basic human kindness. That's it. It's not special or unique or compelling. She is just a nice person who is very beautiful and happens to be the king's daughter. Her greatness comes from what she is, not who she is at all. And that makes it jarring when you see all these people ready to rally around her and give their lives to her and follow her to the death for no other reason other than that she's Snow White. Th that's it. I mean, the most impressive thing she does is yell at a troll, but then it's like, if, if she had been anyone else other than herself, the troll would have eaten her. So it's just like, it's not that you were brave that made the troll not eat you. It was the fact that you have this magical inner goodness that he didn't eat you. It has nothing to do with, with, with what you did. It's about, you know, what you are. You are this magic person who can heal everyone's ailments by just being around them. It's just like, it has nothing to do 
with her as a person. It's just more like she was born that way. And that's not really that interesting. But going back really, like that entire sanctuary scene, so much modern okay. I was looking at that scene, just like, really? Like, it's not even like you can say it could be anything. No, that was totally even the part where like the the, the, the um antler god thing gets gets like hurt by someone shooting him it was just kind of like seriously what what is this anyway moving on of course people are probably going to be like well snow White didn't do anything in the original story so you know you can't really complain that she didn't do anything in this that's not really a fair comparison because the original story wasn't trying to do this we're dark we're a fairy tale but not a fairy tale we're hardcore thing that Snow White and the Huntsman is trying to do. I mean, as limited as Snow White was in the Grimm's text, she was like seven, eight years old. And also, the evil queen was not this cursed demonic woman who was, you know, putting a reign of terror upon the kingdom. She was just a vain woman who didn't want to be replaced because beauty was the only thing she had a value in her life for herself. And Snow White's innocence and fairness comes from her youth and her lack of corruption and the kindness that she has on top of everything. Like she's young and she has not been out in the world on top of that, which is why she's so trusting to other people and why she's so helpful and all those other things. Her helplessness is also supposed to add to the idea of her being an innocent. And not to mention she was like written by like the perfect woman as seen through male eyes. So. It's, it's an unfair comparison to be like, um, Snow White didn't do anything in the original text, so therefore, why does it bother you? Because it's not like Snow White was perfect in the original text, because the whole story of Snow White deals with the issue that there can only be one. One beautiful woman, one fairest of them all in all the land, and how that pits women against each other. And by making the evil queen this evil, all-consuming, demonic, sucking the souls out of other women, I mean, the youth out of other women thing, all it does is reinforce a bunch of Madonna whore stereotypes throughout the entire movie. I mean, Snow White is, you know, beautiful, pure, innocent, you know, the queen is seductive, corrupt, sexualized. It's like, that's really what the dichotomy between the two characters comes down to, is that one is, is like, even Snow White, when she comes out of her, like, whole apple thing, she's wearing like, this flowing white dress, pure virginal goodness it's just kind of like you know it's ridiculous even like when Charlize Theron comes out for her wedding dress it's like her boobs just popping out of that out of her dress it's like it's it's pure Madonna whore the entire time through there's nothing challenging or deep or interesting about that whole thing and even when I try to go into the queen's backstory and give the sort of feminist message about how men treat women in beauty it's all muddled because Snow feels no burden from her beauty other than the queen's own hatred. All it, all you see in this is the idea of women fighting other women because of their appearance. You totally lose out on the whole idea of the whole patriarchy thing, which is what they're kind of implying, and what actually is implied with the whole mirror voice thing about how the mirror usually is always a male voice and all that kind of stuff. But that's just other things, but that we'll put on that side. But you know, there's only that. And plus they make it seem as though because Snow White has inner beauty, she's beyond vanity. Like she's so far away from the queen because of the inner goodness she has. Where in the Grim text, this isn't true. You see, in that, the queen visits Snow White about three, three times. And the first three times she brings like a corset and a comb. And those things tempt Snow White because she wants to become more beautiful. She has some vanity and she's subjected to the same issues as the queen and what those little scenes do besides show that the queen wants to kill Snow White is show how similar they are in the sense that they are both susceptible to the same idea of beauty being important you know but in this she has no flaws she's everything the queen isn't and it's very artificial even her relationship with the huntsman kind of falls flat because when he's proclaiming his his love for her and all that kind of jazz. All I could wonder is like, where did this come from? Like we knew it was gonna happen because you know, you see in the previous kind of implied like, oh, she's gonna get with the Huntsman or implied to be affected by the Huntsman. But it means nothing. I mean, there's no real development between them in the romantic sense. So for him to be like 
what he was to her. It was kind of like, why are you confessing all this thing about how she's gonna be a queen in heaven and she's so perfect and wonderful? It's just like, it's just more of the same. I did laugh though when he said that his wife's name was Sarah because Sarah means princess and so it's kind of like, lols almost. But as much as I don't think Mirror Mirror was a good movie and it certainly is not a good movie, I was not as frustrated with it as I was with this. Mainly because I didn't expect much seriousness from Mirror Mirror. It was very clear from how it was presented. It was meant to be like a feel good, fun, children, Disney more-ish kind of like movie. And while I think that it failed on some regards, the script was really bad in a lot of elements, it still could be fun because it wasn't taking itself too seriously. See, that's the whole thing. Because it takes it doesn't take itself seriously, even when you think about it analytically, you can kind of just, you know, like, well, they're beans, they're, they're, they're going out of the way to be silly, to be out of it. So I can at least be like, okay, they were trying to be serious in the first place, whatever. This is trying to be serious. We are not a fairy tale. Fairy tale. But it, 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 it fails on every level of what it's trying to be. Um, and what's so telling about how much of a non-person they want Snow White to be is that after she kills the evil queen, she cries a little bit. Like, she has a little tear. And, like, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that she kills the evil queen. I mean, you know it's fucking gonna happen. It's Snow White. But after that whole thing happens, she cries. Out, she has a little tear. It's just kind of like, what, what the hell is that? This is a woman who made your life miserable since the day she came into it. But you're gonna cry for her? Like, it's, it's like they already showed how big her heart is. How wonderful she is. They can't give her even a little bit, little bit of human hatred. Of human just cruelty. I mean, even in Mirror Mirror, where Snow White was also a bleeding heart kind of person. It's implied that Snow White tells, you know, the evil queen in, in Mirror Mirror to go commit suicide. Like, she gives her back the poison apple, like, you should eat this and die. Because I can't, I hate you. And in the original, you know, in the Grimm's text, Snow White and the prince make the queen dance on heated iron shoes until she falls down dead. This movie removes all of Snow White's human flaws to just make her a thing. She's just a thing. She's not a person. She's not a human being. She is not a character. She is just a thing. The prophet girl. And she doesn't have to do a goddamn thing to make people follow her at all. She just has to be there. Because that's what she does. She she, I won't say that she's not a kind person, but like I said, it's basic human kindness. It's nothing special. I mean, all the women that she meets in the, in the movie, like when she goes to this place where it's only women left, they're all nice people. They're all caring people. Like, why can't they be the fairest? Because they don't have outer beauty. And that's the whole thing. Everyone wants to make the, the Snow White fairy tale be about more than outer beauty. They want to make it about all the kind of like, it's about depth and... No! It's the outer beauty that's important. Like, the fact that she's kind is a plus. Like, the kindness is what saves her from becoming like the queen. But it is her outer beauty that what makes her special. That's it. But people always want to add to it or make it deeper than that. But then they don't go all the way through. You cannot make the whole thing be like, beauty is it important if it's on the inside but then you do all these things that kind of totally reinforce the idea that beauty on the outside is what matters. You can't do that. It, you, you can't do that. It makes no sense. On the good side, I will not deny that this movie is visually stunning. The effects in it are really well done. All stuff like the crows and the, like, the, the mirrors and all that kind of stuff. It's very beautiful to look at. And I'm sure that there are plenty of people that are watching this review who would enjoy this film. And I say go ahead do your thing honey boo boo child. Because I will admit, this movie is just not for me. What I look for, and what I like about fairy tales, are the social issues, the psychological meanings, and even that I like to see how they reinvent the characters, how they change them, how they evolve them into people. And this didn't do that at all for me. I know there are plenty of people who, who saw the movie, saw the character, plot plus, but still enjoyed it. So if you think you can enjoy it, besides it not having really strong character buildup and what you really want is those little action sequences and stuff, Go ahead, do your thing. But for me, this falls flat. They didn't make anyone a character. And it's like, the reason why one of my favorite fairy tale adapta like adaptations is Ever After is because they actually made Cinderella a character. And she wasn't perfect. She was a human being. They couldn't do that in this. They didn't make Snow White anywhere remotely a human being. And that's why I think this movie fails.